welcome to Unmole Power BI Corner, your go-to solution for Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Today in this video, we will see how you can create multiple mazes at once using TMDL view in Power BI Desktop. Before coming to the video, uh, if I share about myself, my name is Anmol Malvi. I am currently working as a senior data analyst at Adend Analytics and I have also been recognized as a Microsoft super user. If you want to learn more about Power BI, then do subscribe this channel for more such informative videos. So coming back to our video, we today in this video, as we I said, we will see how you can create multiple measures. So firstly, we will discuss why this is required and why do we need this feature. So what happens when we work with Power BI reports? If you are working with demo re reports, it will take very less time to create a measures. But just assume that whenever you are working with some large report which has the large data set, the data set is in GBs or the number of rows is in legs. So whenever you click on this measure table and create on this new measure column, this uh, you can see working on it uh, loading button has been appeared. As this is a demo report, it just took few seconds. But if you are working on real world project, this take a long time. So now let's suppose you have to create 5 or 6 or let's say 10 measures and they are kind of similar or uh, logic. So how you can do it? You just have to click on this again and again and it will be going to take lot of time. But today in this video I will show you how you can save this time and uh, do it at once. So let's directly move to the TMDL view. If you are not familiar with TMDL view, we have a detailed video. Uh, you will find the link in the description you can check it out so now coming to this what happen is uh, you can see uh, for now i have one measure so if you can go to this measure table demo we also have a detailed video on how you can create a measure table and the folder within it so for now you can see i have only one measure which is this measure demo one is equals to one and uh, now what i will do is i will just click on enter and uh, I will have to enter the measure. Uh, it is a prompt which we have to enter. Then we have to enter the name. So let's name it the demo2 and then you have to enter the formula. So for now I am just showing the demo so I am writing this but uh, let's say if you have uh, any other particular measure uh, you have to create for uh, total sales. So we will write it as a total sales. Uh, you have to keep in mind that space is not supported in this format till now. So you will have to enter the underscore then you can write down your logic so calculate you can write sum then the column name let's say it's sales so in this way you can write your measure but uh, I am just skipping, skipping it for now so let's copy this one and let's say we have to create 10 measures so we will just copy this multiple time or for now let's, uh, let's just keep it for 5. So you can see we have uh, no, write down just by copy pasting the five measures. Now next what we have to do is we just have to click on this apply button. On the top left you will find out. So we'll click on apply and uh, within few seconds this change is applied to the model and now in the within measure table you will be able to see all these measures. So same thing you can do with your logic just enter it. Uh, let's say you are calculating the sales for any particular categories and you have to create the measure for different categories so you can write down the logic for one then copy paste it and just simply change the category name in those logics and whenever you click on this apply button all these measures will get implemented at once in your power bi report so this is all about how you can create multiple measures at once in tmdl view in power bi if you find this helpful then like share and subscribe see you in the next video